And we are keeping an eye on important races during this election. For more on that, let's send it over to WGEM's Blake Salmon. Blake? Dylan, I'm here at the Lions Clubhouse in New London, Missouri. I've been talking to Rolls County voters all day. They say one of the biggest drivers that's been sending them for the polls is the sheriff's election that's going on, and they're not alone among no Northeast Missouri voters. Three counties do have sheriffs up for election this time. That is Scotland County, Shelby County, and Monroe County. Voters I talked to say they made sure to do their research before heading to the polls. You don't know what they're going to do, what they're going to change in this uh, this era right now, you know, in the future. Um, why vote? You know, why vote for somebody you don't know what they're going to do in the long run? You know, if you want your voice to be heard, you want them to take your voice and uh, take along with them while they're in the office, then you're going to vote for them. There's also a number of big statewide issues that we've been following. One of them is the governor's election developments. Both current Governor Mike Parson and State Auditor Nicole Galloway are trying to fend off their primary challengers from their respective parties. Another big one on the ballot is Amendment 2, otherwise known as Missouri's Medicaid expansion ballot item. If it is approved, more than 200,000 Missourians would be eligible for Medicaid. Live in New London, Missouri, I'm Blake Salmon. WGEM News. All right, Blake, thank you. Now, as election night continues, you can head to the Decision 2020 page at WGEM.com. There you can find the latest results. We'll also have much more coverage and local reaction coming up tonight at 10.